Hey, Michael with X-Force PC here. What I had mentioned the other day is we were going to talk about the RTX 4090 and how maybe that's not the best choice for you or anyone. So um, let's talk about physicality first of all. So what I've got here is I've got a, a 3080, which of course is the previous generation, and another 3080. And so I've got kind of one on the larger side, side here, and then I've got a more petite one, and these are both made by EVGA. As you may have heard, EVGA is not going to be making graphics cards with NVIDIA anymore because they don't, they don't like NVIDIA for whatever. Well, I do know the reasons, but we're not going to get into that right now. Um, so next, let's bring in the 4090. I almost need two hands for this. So um, compared to the smaller 3080, you can see the size difference. You know, there's a length, a length difference. And then, of course the girth. Um, you're taking up three slots and maybe protruding into a fourth with this 4090. Uh, weight is also a, a tremendous difference. And then of course we've got it compared to a larger 3080 here. Not as tremendous of a difference, but you've got a, a length difference and you've got uh, obviously a girth difference. So, um, you know, Size can be an issue when you consider your case as well as um, if you are a uh, builder like me and you have to ship the system with the card installed, that becomes a concern because of the, the weight and, the, and what's being you know, pulled on in the slot with UPS, of course, throwing the packages around as they do. So that's a concern, just the size. Now, um, moving on with the theme of size, hold on a second. I've got a few cases here. These are partially built systems, so ignore the cable management because uh, that's not done yet. But this is a, this case is a Fantex P300A. It supports a full-size ATX motherboard, so not micro ATX. Again, it supports a full-size motherboard. It is on the smaller side for a full-size ATX motherboard case. But um, let's just see how this would work. Yeah, not so much. Um, it's actually impossible <laughs> to get this card in here. Um, next to impossible. Maybe if you turned it sideways and then twisted it and whatnot, but then you wouldn't have room if you decided to put a radiator in the front. Um, wouldn't really work in this case. Also, this case, you couldn't get uh, enough cooling in this case for it. So. Let's move up to Fantex next size up. That's the P300. The next size up is the P400. So let me uh, grab this heavy thing. Here's a P400. And this has uh, a similar size card to what I showed you earlier. Now this one, you can physically fit it in there. Um, it looks like there'd be about a half inch, less than one inch of clearance up here at the other end where we've got a water cooler. Um, you could put these fans from the water cooler on the outside and gain a little bit more clearance. But I can tell you in this case, uh, we would have a little bit of trouble keeping things cool. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. So the one, the case I would actually recommend is the next size up case. That's Fantex. And this is just in the Fantex line. Obviously, Cooler Master and others make cases as well. But this is... Um, this is a P500. Now in this case, you can see, you put the card in here, you know, you're gonna have two or three inches of clearance up there at the front. Um, but more importantly, you're gonna have the necessary cooling or the ability to put in the necessary cooling that you need. So let's talk about that a little bit. The other issue with the 4090 is power consumption. The power consumption under full load of the 4090 is approaching or over, in some cases, 600 watts. And that is pretty extreme. And so even if you can physically fit the card in your case, you're still going to need a big case, a bigger case most likely, because you need the necessary cooling. In this particular case, we have three 140 millimeter fans in the front and we have 320 millimeter fans in the water cooler in the top, and we have another 140 in the back. And even with all that, 
again, I haven't tested it yet, but I just know from testing 3090 Ti's that um, these fans are going to be working hard to get all that heat out. So um, you're going to need an excessive amount of cooling. If you're buying a case, you know, most of the time cases only come with one or two fans. You're going to want to fully populate every uh, hole possible in that case for the cooling uh, as well. Now, um, I had mentioned before, I thought probably the 4080 was going to be the better choice. There's a 4080 16 gig and a 4080 uh, 12 gig. And here are the reasons why that's probably better. Number one, the 4080 is going to draw about 300 watts instead of 600 watts. And I'm rounding here, but half the power. Um, it's probably only going to be about a 20% gain. Again, the benchmarks are pending, but about a 20% gain to go from a 4080 to a 4090. So, you know, when you're thinking about budgets and think about it like it's almost like money, um, do you really want to draw twice the power to get 20%-ish more performance? Again, the performance is pending, but um, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot more than that. It may not even be that much performance gain because your efficiency as you go up the scale gets worse and worse. So to get that extra 10 or 20% more performance, it takes a whole lot more power to get that performance out of it. Um, the other thing is price. Um, you're going to be looking at almost double the cost, uh, double the power draw, almost double the cost in dollars this time uh, to get 20-ish percent more performance. Again, is that worth it? And again, we'll see. I may be wrong about that 20 percent, but I don't think I'm too far off. And then lastly, you know, it, it restricts your ability uh, on your case and your cooling. Uh, to be able to use anything of reasonable size. You know, this is a really big case. Now, if you don't care, if you got tons of room in your office or wherever you're keeping this, you, know, you don't care. The bigger the case, the better as far as uh, noise. And, you know, a lot of large fans running at lower RPM are always better than two or three running at a really high RPM. So, um, you know, if, if, if size is, is not a, an issue for you, then you can throw that particular one out the window. So, uh, the other thing is, you know, if you're in a small room and it's summertime and you're running a, a 4090 at full, uh, full load, that's like running um, a space heater at 50% power. So if you're in, in the small room, it's going to heat that room up. We actually had a customer complaining that his computer was heating his room up and he's running a 3090. And we're like, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, they, they just put out heat. So um, this is even going to put out more heat. So I, I, I say wait for the benchmarks. The, the 4080 is, is going to come a month after the 4090. Um, but I think that's going to be the one to go for.